Lightburn's art library allows you to easily store and apply artwork to any project. Instead of using File Explorer or importing each time, you can drag artwork used on a regular basis from the art library directly into your projects. The art library isn't visible in the default Lightburn workspace layout. To enable it, head up to the window drop-down menu in the top toolbar and click Art Library. When you do, the library window will open on the left side of your workspace. Depending on screen resolution or personal preference, you can click the header for the window to move its location or dock it onto an existing window. Since we don't have an existing art library, we will start by creating one. Clicking on New opens a File Explorer window where we need to name our library and choose a location to save the .lbart file. This file will contain all of the artwork that we add to it, so it's important that it is saved somewhere easy to remember. I like to create a folder under Documents that is specifically used for storing my art libraries. For naming, something descriptive for the type of artwork you will store in a given library will be helpful as your libraries grow. You can create and load as many as you'd like, so each one being its own category really helps with organization. I named my first art library Birthdays since I'm going to use it to store birthday-related artwork. As soon as you click Save, you'll see your library in the left side of the window. To add artwork to a library, you have two options. The first is to click Import, navigate your computer, and select any artwork you want added to the selected library. This is a great way to quickly add graphics. The second is to add a graphic from your current project. Select the artwork in your workspace to make it active, then click Import Graphic from Project. This will pop up a text box allowing you to name the graphic. Only the graphic will be saved. The art library will not store the layer settings applied to the artwork. It is intended to store graphics you will use regularly to expedite future projects. If you want to save the graphic with their layer settings, you will need to save the Lightburn project file instead. Any artwork added is automatically saved to the library file and will auto-load when you open Lightburn. Right-clicking on a thumbnail gives you the option to rename or delete an item. To add artwork saved in your art library to your current project, click and drag any thumbnail over to your workspace or click a thumbnail and then select Add Graphic to Project. Using the same method for creating our first library, I created a second called Sports and populated it with its own graphics. Clicking on the name of a library will select it and lets you see its contents. If you have certain libraries that you don't need all the time, perhaps for holidays, you can choose to unload them. Selecting one and clicking unload will remove it from view. This does not delete or modify the library in any way. When you want to make it visible again, click load, select the library you want to load, and click open to make it visible again in Lightburn. This is a great way to cut back on clutter if you end up having a large number of libraries. Since all artwork added to a library is saved within an individual file, you can easily transfer your art libraries between computers. All you need to do is copy the .lbart files to another computer, click load in the art library window, and then open to add them. Now that you know how to use Lightburn's art library, you'll be able to keep all of your graphics neatly organized and just a click away. Links to our tutorial playlist are available in the description below. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.